praise the Lord, we're able to come together, oh, come together and, and worship the Lord and hear God's word spoken and, um, and just be together as brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. And Lord, we give you our time. We give you our focus. Um, you have seen what we have gone through in this day and in this week, in this month, Lord. Um, you've been with us through all of it. And so you see our lives. You see the busyness. You see all the things that we have to do, all of the things that we're responsible for, Lord. Um, and your daughters and your sons, Lord, your children are here um, to worship you. Lord, no matter what it is that brought us into this place tonight or brought us into this service, Lord, um, we are here to worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord. And so I just pray that you continue to minister to our hearts tonight in the way that you have been ministering, ministering to our hearts um, our whole lives, Lord, just wooing us to you, pulling us into you, Lord. We are here. We are ready to listen for you, to hear your voice. So, Lord, I just pray over each and every person that is with us tonight, Lord, um, that you guide their heart. Lord, that they can hear your voice above the noise, that they can hear your voice, that they can feel your love in the fellowship with their brothers and sisters, Lord, and that we recognize that that love only comes from you. And so we thank you so much for this time, Lord. We thank you for putting it on our hearts to be here together. And we give you the glory. We give you the praise. It's all said in your name, Jesus. Amen.
Announcements. So the weekly ministries, it's, we have the Tuesday regular men's Bible study here at six o'clock. We have Wednesday Keiki Church at five o'clock, and the young adults at seven o'clock. Thursday we have the co-ed Bible study that starts at six, and Friday we have our normal um, youth group, grades six to twelve at six thirty. And then uh, October fellowship, we have. We have the men's fellowship Bible study at Church of God, which is like a couple doors down, uh, Pastor Nanad's church. And that starts at 5 30 if you want to make dinner. Make it for dinner. On uh, Wednesday, the 19th, the next day, we have women's fellowship here at Molokai Nas. Yes, at 6 30. Uh, Monday, 31st, we have Hallow Him at the Kanakakai Baptist Church. For more information, ask Pastor Ryan. He got the details there because he's uh, spearheading that thing. Um, we also have the Good News Club. And that's at Kuala Pool. And this is the same group that did the, the five-day club. Uh, for more information, say Ulu Hanipur was not here. Um, she is not here. <laughs> Um, and that's it for announcements. Hello, everybody. How are you guys feeling, man? Are you guys feeling good? Oh, it's all mine for praise the Lord. Bro, a little bit. It's, it's kind of hot, bro, today. Eh? What's that make on? Fast up. Nah, but it's like, yeah. I get some good news for you guys. You guys ready? Yes, sir. You know, we sing these worship songs, eh, bro? Of how good God is, eh? like, uh, and like this is our desire, you know, Lord, for for change our heart, Lord, open the eyes of our hearts. Yeah, we are. We come together and we we praise Jesus, brother. We worship Him, man. Eh? Why? Why you why, why you guys worship God? Nah. Hey, I know you guys know why. I know you guys know why. But we are. When we come together, we are. One of the words for praise, it means for recognize, yeah? We praise Him because we know who God is, yeah? Through our testimonies, through the things that we experience through our life. We worship Him because He is God. <laughs> he, we, we come to find out that He is who He said who He is, yeah? You know, the creator of all. The one who um, sustains life itself, yeah? The sun, right, the sun is burning. The thing gives light to this earth. The earth is rotating. And when perfect, the kind of us. Earth rotating a perfect place for have life. We get air, water, aina, food. You know what I mean? God, he sustained all these things, bro. You ever do think how your, your heart is beating? <laughs> how your body operates? We get on spirit, cause We get one, oh honey, we get one life inside of us that God sustain, you know? And that's how we praise Him, God. Like, we, we've, um, this world been revealed. Jesus Christ, eh? Jesus came 2,022 years ago, uh, in the flesh, but He always was here, eh? You know? That's why we worship Him, bro. And like, bro, the gospel is simple. The gospel is that God, He loved. He loved us so much that He gave His only begotten Son. He, he came down to earth so that He could give us eternal. He could give us this understanding of love, yeah? So, praise the Lord, that eh, church. This is what we're going into the Word right now. This is, we're going to be in um, Luke chapter 17, uh, verses 11 through 19. <clears throat> we'll go pray first. Ah, oh, Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for, for bringing us here tonight, for your word being available, Lord, this, this good news that, this good news and this, um, this life that we have in, 
in you, Lord, revealed by your scripture, by your by the testimonies that's been given. Lord, I thank you for this night. I just pray as we continue to worship and we continue to um to be here, Lord. I just pray you continue to minister to our hearts. I just pray that your word, uh, yeah, bring them on out to your word, Lord. I just pray that you, Amen. Yeah, this word is blessed I mean, for what you have done, Lord. Well, I just pray that you are, that let my words be your words, Lord. I'll, I'll, I'll glorify you, Father, through, through these words. So help help us understand. And, yeah, Lord, let us glorify so we can praise and glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Okay, so we stay in the book of Luke 7, chapter 17. And uh, for those of you guys who've been with us, we've been on. Uh, we go through, we, we're on the lecture area, so we kind of, we cruise in. Chapter by chapter, yeah, we've been on. Um, Jesus, he's been, he been sharing, planning out his parables, eh? With the kind of, um, planning red letters. <laughs> and he's been, uh, he been, he been teaching his disciples, talking to Pharisees, any kind. But so, last week, before we get into where we're going, uh, last week, we, um, Pastor Poor, she preached on, um, about the, the faith of the master seed, eh? You only have the faith of the master seed. You could tell this um, mulberry tree for uproot and go inside of salt water and, and he will go. Yeah? And um, that's kind of like one. It's impossible, yeah? <laughs> it's impossible in our human thinking. But that's what Jesus is talking about. He's saying, like, what is um, impossible for man, what is impossible for your understanding, is, is possible for God. And just this little bit of faith that you get. In the words that I speak and who I am, you will not kind of. You will be able to do those things. Eh? And then uh, also, well, let me just read them. Which of you, wait, if you had faith like a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and be planted in the seed, and it would obey. Which of you, having a slave, plowing or tending sheep, will say to him, when he has come in from the field, come immediately and sit down to eat. But will he not say to him, prepare something for me to eat, and properly clothe yourself and serve me while I eat and drink, and afterward you might eat and drink? He does not thank the slave because he did, not think, he did the things which were commanded. Does he? So you too, when you do all the things which are commanded you, Say, we are unworthy slaves. We have done only that which we ought to have done. And that one, you're planning on inside there. When, when you first hear them, you think like, oh God, Jesus. They say, no. That when you listen to what I, I tell you, when, when you do what I tell you for do, you say, I am an unworthy slave which only have done what we ought to have done, yeah? But like, um, <clears throat> one thing I like about that is, um, you know this, this life that we're getting, or oh, this life from God, eh? really about nobody is worthy. Nobody is worthy of anything. It says that grace is a gift, yeah? Nobody, you cannot earn, you cannot be good, you cannot do so good that you earn grace or you earn this salvation. Eh? It's, um, it's something that God gives everybody. And nobody's worthy. Yeah? Nobody's worthy. But Jesus, he showed us what is worth, yeah? That's why if we have faith in Jesus, bro, he showed you what is, what is worth, what is value, what is honor. Then we will go to this. We will go to our, our stuff right now. So chapter 17, verse 11. <clears throat> As Jesus continued on towards Jerusalem, he reached the border between Galilee and Samaria. <clears throat> As he entered a village there, ten men with leprosy stood at a distance, crying out, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. He looked at them and said, 
Go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed of their leprosy. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back to Jesus shouting, Praise God! Praise God! He fell down to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. This man was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, he didn't I heal ten men? Where are the where, where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? And Jesus said to the man, Stand up, God. Go, your faith has healed you. The word of the Lord. <laughs> so we see here. Jesus, he um, it says that Jesus, he's walking. So he says, Jesus, he, he, he walking towards Jerusalem, man. Yeah? And he um, he says that he reached. So Jesus, he's still walking, and he said walking towards Jerusalem, and he said that he coming on the, he coming on the edge of um between Galilee. And Samaria, eh? and we know that the kind of uh, Samaritans they had one bad rap, eh? like um, the Jews. They would actually the Jews they never they never liked Samaritans because um, they was kind of like one one mixed breed eh? between um, Jewish and Gentiles, and they had like their own kind of style of worshiping. They had a little bit of, they had God, they, they took, they inherit some, a lot of things of the law and how the kind, how God's people in Russia, and they had one relationship, but they, they was considered, considered for be unclean, eh? So like, the people used to, the, the Jewish people, they used to walk all the way around, yeah? But we see here, Jesus, he coming to the, he stay walking, and he walking towards Jerusalem, and he coming to that, that borderline where the kind get out. <clears throat> Of Galilee and Samaritan, eh? and he says, like as he walking, as he walking, get ten brothers with leprosy. Ten lepers see him from a distance. Yeah, stood the there are ten men with leprosy stood at a distance, crying out to Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. So these ten brothers, so leprosy. These brothers, so in those days, yeah, if you had leprosy, you was considered unclean, bro. Yeah, and um, they couldn't, they wasn't able, they was pretty much casted out from their community. If they had leprosy, they, they couldn't live with their family, they couldn't stay in the community. It says that um in the Old Testament. Um, one good reference for later on, if you guys like look up this, um, where this, well, what Jesus is talking about. Um, they had laws for leprosy, yeah, in the Leviticus law. Leviticus is one of the books in the beginning of the Old Testament, and it was a, um, it's a book on the priests, on how um, this line, the Levites, was chosen for be. God's um, intercept, intercessors that eh, for serve the people, for serve the people, um, the things that God tell them for serve them. So, um, in the law, the people with leprosy they couldn't, they had to stay outside of the camp. They had to stay outside and they couldn't come, they couldn't come in close, bro. So these lepers, these, these brothers with leprosy, they couldn't, they couldn't just run up to Jesus. And they couldn't just the kind, so it says that there was, there was that one distance. That's why I went yell when I said, oh man, because like, I was picturing like, they, 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 they never, seems like they never come right up to Jesus. They went, they went yell from far. But it says that they was waiting for him. They met him, man. So, these, these 10 guys with leprosy, I imagine like, how come, how, how they was waiting for him? They was waiting for Jesus, bro. They knew somehow that Jesus was coming, yeah? So it made me imagine like, ah, oh, 
right now, Jesus already went, when he healed lepers. He already when he healed lepers. He went um, give sight to the blind. He was doing all this. He was he was healing guys. He was um, casting out demons. He was walking on the island. He was the kind. He was walking on the land, and he was the kind, healing, casting out. So get testimonies in the land right now, yeah. So this is my imagination. I see thinking these brothers, these ten, these ten lepers, they they heard the good news of Jesus, bro. They heard the good news, like they heard the um, stories of oh, bro, it comes. His brother had leprosy. Jesus went heal him. This guy was blind, but they see him. Yeah? So when it says that they was waiting, he says that uh, the ten lepers men who stood at a distance met him. And they raised their voices. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. So there was they, just like they were yell to Jesus, but like. Plenty of Jesus' healing was intimate. Eh? Like he stayed right next to the brothers, eh? and he stayed put he put some some the kind on top of their eyes, like that. But in this one, I see Jesus, he, he yelled back this like, go show yourself to the priest. Go show yourself to the priest. That was his answer to, to these brothers saying, oh, Master, have mercy on me. So just like these brothers, they never they never asked Jesus for healing. They never asked Jesus for for him with a leprosy. They had asked Jesus for, have mercy on us, bro. Yeah? Like, the life of, le le um, the life was le of leprosy was way more, I mean, the thing had plenty heavy burden, bro. Affliction, bro. Uh, what is that? Infirmity. Remember a couple weeks ago, we were talking about the things that weigh us down? These brothers, they was living in one place where they were secluded. They was away from their family. Uh, they was battling one disease that their, their flesh rot. And fall off, you know what I mean? There was the kind like, Lord, have mercy on us. And Jesus, what he tell him? He tell him, go show yourself to the priest. You know, tell him that, hey, bro, you guys gonna get healed. This is how this is how what happened. This and that, like that that statement is kind of profound, bro. Because these brothers, they they would not be able to go into a church. They get leprosy, bro. The church, they, they aren't clean. They would not be able to walk into a sanctuary or a place of worship. You know what I mean? But Jesus tells him, hey, go, go, show, go show yourself to the priest. And he says, he says, as they was going, yeah? And as they were going, they were cleansed. <laughs> so these brothers, these ten guys, they, they would hear Jesus' word. And they, they, they had faith, yeah? They just returned and they just went listen, they went go. As they as they started walking, uh, they was cleansed. Bro, they was cleansed from leprosy. But then he goes on to say, now only now one of them, when he saw that he had been healed, he turned back, glorifying God with a loud voice. <laughs> and he fell on his face at his feet giving thanks to him and he was a Samaritan then Jesus after said wow where are the brothers so one brother he even he even noticed that he was healed bro. and when I see this I was like wow he would turn around and just like he was so excited cause he was just like he was overfilled with something inside of him that made him turn around and bro, he started, yeah, he said, he said he started glorifying God with one loud voice. Now that the first that first um the first time I read the scripture was out of the NLT, but in the in this one, the New American Standard Bible, it says uh oh, the loud voice that he would glorify God with was the same voice that they was crying out to him when he first started out, um, when he was passing, when he was coming. Like, I mean, look him up, the Greek, the Greek word, right? Voice. It's kind of cool, bro. You know me and words, eh? <laughs> but the Greek word for, um, for voice is phone. Or it's spelled like phone. I don't know how it's pronounced like phone. But the T is P-H-O-N-E. And, and, <clears throat> 
The team means to um, to shine, make clear, to disclose, make known, kind of like to reveal, yeah. Like the vo voice, the team means um, it means to uh, disclose, like it means to the, it's, it's a it's a sound, it's a sound that says something, eh? But when we use words, when you put words to sound, they get information to that voice, yeah. You get understanding to the words with the voice, yeah. But these brothers, so that same voice that he went, he was, um, they was crying out to Jesus, bro. Like, help us, please, have mercy on us. Was the same voice that brought him in praise God with, bro. He went turn around and he went give God one glory. He said, he turned back glorifying God with a loud voice. He fell on his face. At his feet, giving thanks to him. And he was on Samaritan. And Jesus answered and said, Yeah. So the other guys, they never, they never, they never turn around, yeah. But then I was thinking again, eh? You know, from the first, when we first see this, bro, we, um, we say like, oh, bro, only one guy was thankful, yeah. Only one guy was thankful and uh, when thank Jesus, bro. Yeah, and the other guys, Poho, the nine other guys. But you know what? The nine other guys, they must have been Jewish, eh? I don't know, bro. But they must have, because Jesus go out to, uh, or Luke, he, he go out to point out that this brother who gave thanks was a Samaritan. So these other brothers, they was listening, bro. They was listening to Jesus, bro, because... They, I was thinking, because they, they're following the law, yeah? They're listening to Jesus. They, they, they like, follow the law. They're going to go to the kind of church. And they're going to, they're going to, um, in Luke 5, the you know, leper man, they come up to Jesus and he said, Lord, if you are willing to heal me, cleanse me. Cleanse me. And Jesus said, yeah, I am willing. Your faith is made you well. Jesus told that brother, for go to the priest and offer up the sacrifices that Moses told you for offer up for those with leprosy. Yeah? So these nine brothers, they probably thought they was doing the right thing. Yeah? I'm going to listen to, I'm going to listen to, I mean, we don't know what they did, but I think in my mind, I think like these guys, they was, um, they didn't follow the law, yeah? They didn't follow the law to the team. Maybe they would go to their priest and that kind. Then I was also thinking that the Samaritan brother probably never had the same kind of priest that they had. Yeah, so he probably had a Samaritan kind of priest, or oh, I don't know, maybe maybe he never lasted that long. Yeah, because maybe brother started walking. Once he went heal, he would stop, but he never get that far. <clears throat> but what was what was plain in Malachi that Jesus he told this brother that your faith has made you well. In um in the King James version, it says that he made has made you whole. Yeah. So, I look at it like the kind, bro. The thankfulness, bro, yeah? This guy, he was thankful. He said after, after he got healed, he went back. He fell on his face, at his feet, giving thanks to him. Even that, even that word, bro. That word, thanks, right there. I mean, look him up. It means um, Eucharist. Eucharist still. Yeah? And about our psyching on that last thing. We just had communion last week, yeah? You know? This communion that we had last week. The, the body that was broken for us. Jesus' body, bro. Yeah? Jesus told his, Jesus, tell us to do this, bro. So that we can be in remembrance, yeah? But it means thanksgiving, bro. Yeah? So every time that we take communion, we thankful for for what Jesus done, eh? It's the, it's the reminder of who Jesus is and what he came for do, bro. Yeah? So, like, I see Jesus the kind, bro, rewarding this brother's faith, yeah? Because he will recognize, he will recognize who Jesus was, bro. So these other brothers, eh? 
they was going to go through the priest and they was going on. They was going to show them that they was healed. Eh? And before this, they would do that so that God could get glory. Bro. So God could be glorified by the healing. Yeah? God Is God the one who healed the lepers? It, is God the one that kind? Um, in Leviticus, they would follow the law to the team. And they're right there. They would get healed. Eh? You know that kind? So like, Jesus was telling them, for go show yourself to the priest so that God can get the glory. Eh? So, they, so God can get the glory. So they, we, go, we go to church. Eh? We go to church so that we can... Um, so can be, they, I think guys before, they go to church, right? To be right, to pray right with God, to seek Him, to, to know Him, to hear the word, to get faith of how to, to do. And that's how we do too, eh? Today. But this brother, this other brother, he was filled with the kind cause, thanksgiving. He was filled with the kind, well, not, eh, not only thanksgiving, this brother started praising God because he will recognize who Jesus was, bro. He will recognize that Jesus is God. That this is God. This is the kind from the Father. That's why when he will turn around, he said the kind. When he will turn around, he turned back glorifying God with a loud voice. Glorifying, meaning that that Jesus is the fulfillment, bro. That Jesus is the Messiah. That Jesus is the revelation of who God is. So like Jesus, he was there for reveal who God what is. Eh? Say that Jesus is the image of the invisible God, bro. The only reason why we know who God is because of Jesus. Jesus reveal, will reveal God's heart, God's love, God's purpose, God's will for us. Yeah. So that's why Jesus, by the feet of a master seed, can move on the kind. Tell them all very cheap for come on because it's the faith in Jesus, bro. Jesus is the Rakhine. He will come for that purpose, eh? So that we can the kind, bro. Be glorified too. But we're not meant to be, when I say we be glorified, it's like arm. Um, so the word glory, eh? The thing mean arm. Um, the word glory means to arm. Um, when something is glorified, so God's glory in nature, yeah? say like nature. Nature does what it was meant to do, meant to become. Yeah? So like when a seed is planted, when that seed grow up into a tree, and the thing flower and the thing fruit, that's the glory right there. The thing was meant to be one fruit full of seeds. That first seed, the thing was meant to grow, the, 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 the fruit is the glory. It's what the thing was meant to do, yeah? You know, so Jesus, so us, Jesus is the seed eh, planted inside us. Bro. When I say that we, we get glorified is that when, when we start becoming more like Jesus, bro, God it can be glorified, God, that we becoming who God created us to be. Yeah, Jesus is the image of the kind, and Jesus is the, um, the bridge, eh? that's why he came as a man, he came as a human, bro. Fully man, fully God, but that's what He liked for us, eh? The fullness of Him inside of us. That's why Jesus, He said, like, whoever, whoever will hear my words and, like, uh, keep my commands, me and my Father, we're going to make a boat in Him. We're going to make that kind, we're going to make our house in Him. He's going to come live inside of us. That's the glory right there. We, we, we made for that, Yeah. We made for who God, we made for have light and love and peace and joy inside of us. We're not made for have all this other stuff in the world. Anxiety, worry, leprosy, sickness. You know, those things is, is inside our world, but in Jesus we we heal that. In Jesus we we the kind cause we get we get we get God inside of us. So this brother he will recognize who Jesus is, eh? and that's why he started glorifying him, bro. And that's why Jesus went the kind cause. Jesus went, when make this brother whole. 
and and I just think of like um get we can learn about God in church, bro. We can learn about God in the kind, bro, in the building and these places where we come together and hear the word and study and that are kind. But you know what? God, He really like us for go out. He really like the kind cause us get the get the healing for the kind cause so we can uh, testify so we can go. I just think about this brother who Jesus told him, bro, stand up and go. I think about this brother's life. Bro. He must have he must have lived a different life cause full of mahalo, full of thanksgiving of what's been given. Eh? Just like the guy in um. And this guy was a Samaritan, bro. Yeah? He, uh, even, uh, even the, remember Jesus went across to the, um, to the, the place, and I had one guy with, like, like, uh, one legion of demons inside him. And Jesus went free him, bro. Jesus went hammer all those things, bro. And even the, de even the demons would recognize who Jesus was, bro. But this brother was so happy. And so the kind free, bro. After hammering all that stuff, and he wanted for he wanted for come with Jesus. Jesus said, "Nah, bro. You go, and you tell of all the good things that God did for you, bro. He telling this brother, just be thankful, cause about what God will do for you, and go tell everybody about. It. Yes. Live in that mahalo, yeah. Live in that thankful, like, bro. So like, these brothers, these leprosy brothers, they heard about Jesus. They heard plenty of stories, bro. Yeah? And we can put them to like two days, two days kind too, bro. Yeah, everybody get one. Whoever been touched by Jesus or get a testimony of why they believe in Jesus, bro. We hear all these miracles that happen, eh? And we get some miracles of our own that happen in our life, eh? And, and sometimes people got to see them, man. I mean, it's, it's easy for him, bro. But then when Jesus actually come and he tell you something and a thing happen, then boom. Now you understand, eh? You know what I mean? When you receive them, and that thankfulness come inside, like, bro, that's why we, that's why we praise God. Sometimes we don't, I don't even know what the words, kind words for say, bro, because, because, uh, he done so much for us, and he continued to do, eh? And you know, I'm going to throw this in there too, bro. But you know, um, you know when you see the word, uh, unworthy servant, eh? Like Jesus, bro. Jesus, he will love us so much. Eh? God, he loves us so much that Jesus, he came us. He became us. He became to the lowest. He will humble himself as a human. He said that Jesus will humble himself all the way to the cross, bro. And, um, have this, have that one part where I came, this rich ruler, he come up to Jesus and he said, hey, good man, uh, good teacher, what must I do to inherit the kingdom? And Jesus tell him, good? Well, nobody's good. Only God is good. This is Jesus talking. Jesus saying that, he, he's saying that, bro, I just want human. I get things, bro. But yeah, this is Jesus. He's perfect, cause, Yeah? But, so I mean, I put it together, an unworthy servant, eh? Jesus, I mean, but Jesus, he's different, bro. He, he the one who made us worthy, yeah? But that servant, like, what Jesus did on the cross and what he's still doing, he's still serving us, bro. Jesus has not stopped serving us, bro. That's why whenever that you, whenever you call upon his name, he dealt. Whenever you repent, he dealt. He says that he, he says that he intercedes forever for all for all of those who receive in salvation, bro. He always prayed for us. He always stayed with us. He's always stayed for us. He always stayed pursuing. He always stayed a kind, bro. He always dealt. That's why we. We can always be thankful, eh? You know, when you pray to God, plenty of times I pray to God, bro. He, God tell me He did them, Maria. In Jesus. Yeah, I mean, still, we're going we to go through things, eh? But Philippians 4, 11, what is that? Don't worry about nothing, but in everything, pray. pray. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. And let God know what you need. Tell God what you need. But, with thanksgiving, 
with thanksgiving. And he says that the peace that surpasses understanding will protect your mind and your heart. So the key to that right there is thanksgiving, bro. When you pray, be thankful. If you pray with a thankful heart, that means you're acknowledging that God is the one who's giving you everything, bro. Yeah? That thankfulness, that's what it's about. I think so, this, this message is about living in Mahalo, bro. Living in that thankfulness, bro. You know, I mean, circumstances get all kinds of stuff happen in our lives, bro. You know, sometimes, you, a lot of times, you cannot tell, bro, what could happen. But God, He not change. Yeah, always give something for be thankful for. Amen? Amen. So, bro, if you, um, yeah, whatever Jesus did for you, bro, be thankful. And actually, He did everything, bro, for you. So, He's coming to the realization, eh? And the recognition of who he is, bro. So that we can the kind of us. We can become who we're supposed to become, man. Eh? So yeah, church, that's the message, bro. Thankfulness. Jesusness. Holiness. Set apart, bro, yeah? You know? We live differently, bro. Amen? Amen.
that you've done for me. Your praise will ever be on my lips.